All right, class, welcome. This week we are going to create videos in YouTube. Um, also, we're going to do some other stuff in YouTube, but uh, we'll do that in class. For this video, I'd like to demonstrate for you a couple of the skills you'll need to employ or use in order to create this YouTube video. First of all, log into YouTube. Notice that I'm logged in here and you can also change your account. You may have a personal account, but we're doing this in our school accounts. Um, you can either click on my channel. If you go to my channel, you'll see all of your videos and you can go to Creator Studio from here or you can go to Creator Studio right up here in that menu. Click on Creator Studio and this will open up. And we are going to, over on this left menu, we're going to choose Create. You could also, if you already have some videos, if you've ever imported, let's say you've used your phone to record videos and you've uploaded them to YouTube, this is where you would go to edit those videos right here. You can edit them as well. But we're going to create one from scratch. So we're going to click down here on Create. You'll notice that it's asking me what music I want. Uh, deal with that later. Let's go over here. You'll see there's a video editor. That's where we want to go. We can import audio by clicking on, on this little link up here, which you will be doing, because you're going to look at that video that I created and you are going to try to make a video the exact same way. YouTube uh, Video Creator is a, a timeline editing software. So you'll see, first of all, you can name, you can name the thing, whatever you wanna name it. And then you'll notice that it says drag videos here, drag audio here, and that's literally all you're going to do. So you can search through the different audio sounds that you've got over here. I'll give you a couple hints about which audio I used if you're having a hard time finding it. You can literally drag and drop the audio right where you want it to be. And you can play it, you can play the audio and find out where it stops. Um, you may or may not be able to hear that. Um, but that audio right there is playing and you can then edit it. You can stop it. You can uh, crop or cut the the audio to be different sizes. You can also um, dra drag and drop another audio in if you want. Uh, you can delete it. You can move this audio around. I can't move it yet because I don't have any videos in here. So once you get the audio you want, click close. It's got that audio in there and you're going to do the same with video. You're going to drag video in here and you can search for videos. Um, or you could take videos or you could take photos from your photo collection. There's some creative commons videos here. Those are the ones that I use. You'll have to find the ones that I use and you literally will just drag and drop the video. So you can drag it from either side to make it. Also from each video clip, what you can do is add filters or change the motion to slow motion. If I change it to four times slow motion, you'll see how much slower that waterfall goes. It's YouTube takes a little bit while to render it, but once it does, you'll see that that's going four times slower than it was going before the video itself. You can also rotate, pan, view, uh, pan and zoom. Pan means to um, go out from it. Pan out means to go further away from it, so it looks like your object's farther away. To zoom obviously means to go in closer, zoom closer. You can change the filter on it. You can also add text to it. You can enter the text here. Hello, you can change the size, the alignment. You can put it in the center if you want. You can change the size, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, the banner color. I'm having a hard time seeing the banner right here, but it's there somewhere. Um, the position, let's put it in the center so it's easier to see. Maybe that's why I couldn't see it yet. And I don't see it anywhere, but preview effects side by side with original video. Maybe that's what I need to do so that I can see what it's going to look like. Um, oh, you know what? because I didn't click the enable text button right here. Check that box and it will then pop the word in there that you said. You can also add more audio to that video, but you can also just do that by dropping it down to the track below. That works just as well. Usually, certainly for our purposes, it will work just as well.
So I can add some more. Um, I can add some more uh, video in here. Click on this close button and then drag something else in. I drag something else in. And I can, again, uh, resize it. I can uh, add filters now, different filters to this one. I could add text to this one. I can add more songs to this one and make the different sizes, songs different sizes. You can also zoom in on your timeline mode so that you can see more carefully how these things line up. That's the zoom bar over there. Again, go back and find some more music, drag and drop it straight in and crop it to make it the size that you want it. You can crop from either side, the front or the back. Cropping here, cropping there, and it uh, clicks it right into your to your audio. So you'll hear this audio start right when the other one ends. You can also pan the audio. You can change the volume of each audio clip if you want, along with the bass and the treble. Go ahead and play around with that stuff and you'll see how this works. And your goal is to make a video uh, similar to the one as, in fact, exactly like the one that I've made if you uh, can find all of the right video, all the right pictures, and all the right audio, and then adding the different effects, etc. Oh, one more thing I want to show you is that there's transitions from one to the other. You can apply a transition to a clip. So if you click on, let's click on this first clip, you have to actually click and drag this transition click and drag the transition right onto the audio that you want where you want it and then drag it to wherever you want it to be so i'm putting that transition uh it's a diamond transition here i'm put dragging it in between these two clips so what will happen here is that transition i'm going to move this all the way over to here so i can play it um, notice that there's also this option of splitting a clip. You can split it by clicking on that button, split clip here. I'm not going to do that right now. There's the transition. It went from that first clip to the other one with the diamond transition. Um, and you can add transitions on between all the different clips. You could also put banners in onto videos. You'll have to do that. That's a little bit different than um, a caption. So lots of things you can do with YouTube in creating in the video creator. And so go ahead and try to make that video like I did. Thanks.